Hey everyone, today we're going to be introducing lipids. Uh, lipids are a diverse group of biomolecule, but they are not macromolecules. What do I mean? Um, lipids do not, com they do not consist of monomers that link together with covalent bonds to form polymers. So, um, for example, fat is a type of lipid, right? But you don't link fat molecules together to form some kind of polyfat molecule. Uh, fats stay individual units, right? Fats do not actually link together. So because these, uh, these lipids do not link together, they are not considered a macromolecule. Well, what are lipids then? Again, I said it's a diverse group. It includes things like fats. You know, fats includes oils, oils. Uh, it includes phospholipids. Oh, I'm sorry, phospholipids. Phospholipids, I'm gonna tell you what that is in a little bit. Uh, waxes, wax, waxes. Uh, even some of the vitamins, okay? So you've got fats, oils, waxes, vitamins, oh, and steroids. These steroids are called hormone steroids. And all of these are considered lipids. Um, so what do they have in common? Well, they tend to be mostly comprised of carbon and hydrogen. So most of these molecules are almost, almost entirely carbon and hydrogen. And remember what carbon and hydrogen do when they form covalent bonds? Um, co uh, carbon has about the same electronegativity as hydrogen does. So when you have molecules that have a bunch of carbon and hydrogen, those are forming nonpolar covalent bonds, which means that they are forming nonpolar molecules. These nonpolar molecules are not gonna mix with water, they are called hydrophobic. Hydrophobic means doesn't want to mix with water, doesn't mix with water. Uh, so they tend to be hydrophobic because they tend to be mainly carbon and hydrogen. They are hydrocarbons, okay? Uh, so that's a good intro to lipids. Um, again, please like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.